Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration of a swisher uh, surface grinder. This is a uh, stationary magnet with a, with a swiveling uh, spindle. In other words, the spindle is going to go back and forth in an arc. Uh, and the down feed, of course, is going to be down. And this would be your down feed hand wheel mounted there on top. Now, the chuck on the machine is a electromagnetic chuck. And this is the uh, OS Walker chuck controller uh, for that chuck. Over here is the control panel uh, to operate the machine. Now there's a couple of different ways that this can be run. Um, we're going to go into that. Uh, first of all, I want to say that the basic voltage of this machine is 220 volts, three phase. That's the main power and everything will be marked on here, main power that goes into the disconnect box. And that, three tw that 220 volts is only really used on this machine to run the grinding spindle. This is a, uh, I don't know how many horsepower, but it's a three phase uh, 220 volt spindle. The rest of the machine, uh, the, the hydraulic pump for the feed, the valves for the feed, uh, uh, the power for the timer and all this stuff is 110 volts. And that's also marked on the back of the machine. So uh, this section here is only to start the grinding spindle. Now if you wanted to, uh, there's a little tag, a little um, a pin here or a key that you can remove, which disconnects this mechanism from the, from the uh, drag of this uh, infeed system. In other words, if you wanted to use this and pull this back and forth by hand, when this is all engaged, you can't do that. So there's a little key up here that you remove and there's marks there so that you put it back in the right place and then you could start your grinding wheel, uh, magnetize your workpiece to the thing and dress this, uh, dress your grinding wheel. Now when you dress the grinding wheel you're going to just have a regular surface grinder type. Uh, maybe a cluster diamond would be better than a single point. You're going to put that on your magnet and you're going to uh, go back and forth with the wheel uh, slowly feeding down until it's got a nice dress on it. Now the wheel currently on this is a soft wheel uh, we did address this chuck in for you and we adjusted here. Uh, this is an adjustment where you can adjust the cant of the spindle. There's a, a key on this side or an allen head on the, both sides and as you loosen one and tighten the other you can cant this head to get your crosshatch a finish on your workpiece. If you can see this finish that we have here on the chuck, I think we've got it pretty good. Um, so. Aside from that, you've got two uh, grinding cycles here. Both the grinding cycles work with this timer. And this timer can be adjusted uh, by turning the knob here. If I, w if I bring it to 20, that means I'm going to do 20 cycles, 20 back and forths. And each time it goes back and forth, it's going to feed down. If you only want to take 5 thousandths off a part or 10 thousandths off a part and then just dial in your last couple of tenths by hand, then you would set this to 5 or 10 or whatever your stock removal would be. Um, and this will count down the, the 20 pulses, each pulse being a feed, uh, hydraulic feed of this uh, down feed mechanism which will turn this hand wheel depending on how much you've got this uh, micrometer uh, adjustment opened up. Uh, for, the, for, the, for the ratchet and pull the piston that's in there. And you'll see all that when we start the machine up. So <clears throat> that's one way that it works. When you set this to 10, it's going to do 10 feeds and then once it reaches zero, the feed is going to stop. It will no longer go down. At that point, uh, you need to stop the cycle on your own and uh, then check your workpiece and maybe finish the last thousand or whatever by hand. The other way this works, it's got uh, mode 1 and a mode 2. Uh, so in mode 2, if you were to set this on say 5, that means it's going to go back and forth 5 times before it feeds down once. That's the difference there. So if you have a heavy, a, a heavy material or hard to grind material and you can't feed down every, every pass uh, and you want to feed down every 5 passes or every 6 passes or every whatever, that's what, that's what mode number two is. And you are going to get a manual with the machine which is going to teach you all that um, and make that more clear. Now there's also a manual mode. When, as soon as you switch into either manual or auto, you automatically start up the little hydraulic system. 
And right now I can press these buttons, these say left and right. I can bring the head to the right side or the left side. And if you had this key here disconnected, you could feed down, or actually you could feed down right now by hand. Whatever you want to take and then come back again. Each time bringing the, bringing the, the head down by hand. In the automatic mode, once we shut it off for manual, we, the center position is off so the, the tank goes. Now we start our pump again and when I start the cycle here, this will go back and forth on its own. Now the amount of travel that this makes, right now it's at its maximum. It's coming off the chuck on both sides. But there's an adjustment back here these little screws on the cam where if you move those around you can shorten that stroke up. Also the speed that this is moving right now is adjusted by these flow control valves located on the ends of each of the of this dual cylinder here which is doing all that work. So when we walk around back here to the front of the machine it's going back and forth but it's not feeding right now because I haven't I haven't selected the mode, the downfeed mode. Now there's two downfeed modes. Remember we talked about this. The first mode is going to feed 20 times. Well, I don't want it to feed 20 times, so let's go, let's go up to five. Um, and the other way, it's going to go back and forth five times before it feeds. So now we're going to feed every time. It has to go there and then back again before it feeds. It doesn't feed on both sides of the workpiece, only one side. So now you see the red light comes on. And if you watch this wheel up here, when we get to this side, it snaps to the next increment. That's about a thousandth or two thousandths. At the same time it's doing that, this needle here is counting down to zero. And when it gets to zero, the feed there will stop. There's no dead stop, there's no you know, solid fixed stop on the machine like this. This stops the feed in an automatic mode. Now if your part's not the right size, you finish it up by hand. As Soon as I shut this cycle off, the needle's going to reset itself. That's our down feed. Now if I wanted to feed more off, I can back this up to 10 pulses. Start this again. Each time we come to the right side of the work, you'll see the feed, the feed up here. Only feeds on this end. And each time it's feeding, this red needle here is counting down or counting up, counting down to zero. All right, so I'm going to shut it off. The other thing it can do, let's move it up a little bit to like four or five or three, and we'll put it in mode number one. Mode number one now, we're not going to feed until we go back and forth five times. When it gets to the zero, then we're going to feed at the top. As soon as it does feed, The timer resets itself to start going again another five or six strokes before it feeds again. It's pretty neat. You're getting a valuable lesson here. So there it feeds. And in this mode, it feeds on the left side, and it'll tell you that in the book also. That's just the way that it is. All right, so we're going to stop it. 
So whenever you stop this thing, you always want to try to stop it with the head all the way to this side because if you don't start it in the right position, uh, it won't allow you to start the automatic cycle. See that? It wants, wants to be all the way over. Now I can go to auto and press that button. Just remember that. It wants to be all the way over. And the only way you can get it over is to put this in manual and use the jog button to bring it over there under power. All right, now I'm going to shut it all off. And, uh, all right, that is the spindle. The spindle's been running all along. The spindle's very quiet. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna stop it. it takes a long time to coast down. Uh, there's a hole that goes through the head that sprays water down on top of the wheel. We put a valve the best we could do on here. You need to get a hose and come down. You got a brand new coolant tank. Uh, this is 220 volts, uh, single phase, and it's gonna go into the back of the machine. It'll be marked where it goes. Um, this is your control panel with all your stuff that works off the timers and this is all 115 volt single phase. You won't find any high voltage in there, you won't find any three phase. This uh, motor down here, this hydraulic unit that runs this feed, down feed, is 115 volts. Um, And here is your only 220 uh, three phase going on. That's your contactor for starting and stopping the grinding spindle and your transformer to make control voltage for, the, for that uh, relay. I'll start the spindle again. And when you start it from you know, not moving at all, it does jerk because it's got a lot of torque. So there you have it. That's the swisher. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, give me a call. Thank you.